Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke this morning. We're going to look at chapter 2, verses 8 through uh, 14 today. Let's go straight to it. Now, there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Well, we'll see tomorrow morning what the shepherds do with this. But this morning, just looking at this portion, uh, here they are. And God doesn't come to the scholars. God doesn't come to the high religious officials in Jerusalem. God comes to these, these lowly shepherds just out in the flocks in the field in the, in the cool evening, and they are humble enough to hear the message. They're humble enough to respond to the message. Again, we'll see what they do tomorrow morning. But right here, we see the angels come. They have a, a message. They can hardly contain themselves because Jesus has come. This is, this is really important. This is the center of, of the history of the universe happening right now, so to speak. And so they are very happy. They bring the good news to the shepherds, and that's going to trigger the shepherds to uh, go and investigate further, and this is going to bring all bring glory to God in, in the long run. Uh, very interesting, then, how the multitude bursts out in praise to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. This is God's basic alignment towards you and I. He wants good. He has goodwill. He wants peace for us. And he has, every thought that he has toward us is, is, comes from an impulse of love, an impulse of goodness. There's not one negative thought that God has about you. There's not one uh, time that God says, boy, yeah, that was a mistake to make that guy. God is always on our side. He always wants what's best. He is other serving. He is self-giving. These are this is the, the baseline of God's character. And so even, even people in the most lowly, degraded, uh, messed up state, Jesus wants to be like a shepherd to them and bring them, bring them up higher, you know, bring them up to higher ground spiritually. That's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of God you and I serve today. And so no matter how low you might feel, if you feel low this morning, if you woke up feeling depressed or sad, I hope you'll be uplifted this morning because Jesus is on your side. The Father sent Jesus because he knew we needed someone to come very close, and Jesus is going to come very close indeed. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for sending us Jesus, our Savior, to be as human as we are, and yet also he is God. So now we just we, we, we feel like the angels. We want to give praise to you because you have done such a thing in our world. Now, Lord, help us to have appropriate praise and appropriate trust, not to fear. As the angel said to the angels, don't fear. Help us not to fear, Lord, and may we invite your action in our lives, invite your intervention, and trust you for that. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, on the behalf of the things we are, we're hearing and learning here, I can only say, may God's blessings be upon you today.